Dad's been asking me for a few days to bring my grinder and grease gun over, so I did, and then I figured I could use some uh, some music around this place too, so I brought my Bluetooth speaker. So I just, I love these Milwaukee tools. They work so good. But speaking of cordless tools, I got a package yesterday. So this is a another cordless tool. Unfortunately, it's Ryobi because DeWalt doesn't or Milwaukee doesn't make one of these items. And I'm really really excited about it. It should make the shop so much better. Um, but I'm not going to tell you what it is quite yet. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to charge it. Um, like I said, I don't have any Ryobi tools, so I'm going to have to get the charger and battery out for that and charge it. And then stick. you'll have to stick around later in the video. I will show off what it is. Good morning. It's Sunday. I think it's like April 26th. Or, I'm not sure what day it is. I'm pretty sure it's Sunday though. Um, we're back at the farm this morning. So the plan for today is I gotta pull that hydraulic hose off the field cultivator. Uh, I called my buddy. He's out on service calls. He's not around the shop. He told me just to go in and make the hose and write down what parts I used. So. I'm going to head over there, make that hose, and then we'll come back. I'm going to get the um, a couple things buttoned up on the 4440, go put the meters on the units on the planner, hook the planner up, bring it over to the shop, and get the couple things done we need done on that. Sometime in there, our dirt guy should be showing up. Um, so then I'll have to take the skid loader, get the rock bucket, go out. There's a bunch of rock I need to pick up where he'd be working. And uh, and scoop up the sand, and maybe I'll do that before he even gets here. But that is the plan for today, as of right now. And hopefully, we get that planter done, and I can go get that uh, 40 acre field planted tomorrow. Oh, and we better get the fertilizer tender out too. I suppose we'll need that. That's the plan. I'm sure it'll change.
new line, all ready to roll. All right, I'm gonna go fuel up this tractor and then I'm gonna run back out and try it again this morning because I couldn't see all that well last night. Make sure the GPS is set correctly. I think it's pretty close. And then uh, hopefully get uh, Dad to go over and start working the pick our field. started raining. I've got the battery charging. Hope you're excited as I am. Well, the rain let up. I've been working on fertilizer openers. I got those three done. Uh, the worst ones are up there. 10 to 11 are the worst ones. So I'm going to get those next and I'll probably just do 12 while I'm at it and then this whole side of the planter will be done. Honestly, the right side of the planter is always the worst. So um, I'll go back through the left side and just hit the really bad ones. Um, although the inside openers, you can see, these were, they've all been pretty bad. Um, so I really should probably replace all of them, but... I'm running out of time. Uh, these are some of the bushings that I replaced. This one wasn't horrible. This is actually the best looking one I replaced. But there was another one that was completely wore through. So, and then I had to wash these last two boxes. The insides were kind of, had some sticky stuff in them. So I washed those out. So I can put the meters back on those. But uh, for right now, I think I'm going to go and pull the fertilizer tank tender out with the skid loader. So I think I'll throw a camera up there and go pull that out quick and play with that while it's still a little light out here. Okay, so the tank, apparently, somehow, the hose, we typically disconnect the hose down there from the bottom of the tank at the end of the season, but it didn't get disconnected for some reason, and the hose is still connected. So we're going to disconnect all that, grab some water, try and rinse all this out, see how much chunks and crap is in there try and get that all cleaned out and then i'm going to see if this guy will start Let's see if i can do this without taking a bath Let's see if i can wait till i can get it to fall off hey Well, 
It definitely didn't get rinsed out last year. I don't know how that happened. Oh, just more work I gotta do now. Oh well, we'll get her rinsed out. All right, it's just about time to go home to, for the night. I got the planter backed out of the shop here, put back in the shed. I just wanted to show real quick the uh, these are the inside scrapers on those fertilizer openers. This is the worst one I took off, and this obviously is a new one. So they've they've definitely been used. And here's one of the bushings for those openers. It completely wore through compared to a new bushing there. All right, <clears throat> since we got the planter put away, it's that time. This battery is charged. We can go ahead and grab that. And I can show you the Ryobi Devour. So I uh, hate sweeping the shop. I, I don't do it near as much as I should because I don't like doing it. I've wanted one of these for a long time, but even the push style ones, just the manual ones, are like 150 bucks. And uh, I saw this the other day on a Home Depot daily special for 100 bucks, and I thought I'm gonna give it a shot. So this is the first time using it. I'm doing it on camera, so we'll see. I haven't even tried it yet. There we go. And they said you can just, this is big button so you can hit it with your foot. Oh, it's got headlights. And I'm just gonna go right through the middle of how it did there was a big pile there that's not too bad I'm kind of impressed with that let's see this real big it's pretty thick pile of, of uh, floor sweep floor dry Again. Oh, it's doing a good job. And then they said you can pick up big chunks, so I left some of these uh, some of these old bushings from the fertilizer openers. said it even pick up a tape measure so I think it looks pretty decent it's even just a one little streak in the center but it's all right it's easier to push this around than it is to push a broom so that'll do it for tonight I'm gonna finish sweeping the floor so I have a nice clean floor for the morning thank you everyone for watching and we'll see you on the next one all right, I've had a little chance to use this now. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. Um, I kept running around and I thought, yeah, it's doing okay, but it's not doing great. And pretty soon I looked down and realized, oh, I had it set on rough surfaces. And actually, it's moved back down. So there's this little dial here you spin and put on for smooth surfaces. It angles it and it does a way better job. Um, it's still not a huge okay so you can see over here is where I had it on the rough surfaces and then they came over here and this was where it was on smooth surfaces there's still a little bit of uh, 
oil dry it doesn't like floor dry at all it it throws it a lot so other than the floor dry it does really good on the dirt and it sweeps up everything I swept up corn leaves I swept up um, shop rags um, big chunks bolts all kinds everything so I'm pretty impressed with this that is going to make me sweep the floor a lot more than I do now. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.